Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's cool out here and refreshing again this morning. I'll take it. I understand it's going to be 96 Monday, but right now it's 60 something and it feels fantastic. All the kitties are here and um, Amazon came at seven something. We just let him leave the package. He left it right there at the boardwalk. Maybe he saw the kitties and decided not to come closer to the door. Um, anyway, we have one of Johnny's controllers. I think the print, 3D print job in the garage is supposed to finish around 11-ish. So we're working through our morning routine and I'm sure it's going to be a robot kind of a day. Sweetheart. Yeah, somebody's mowing off in the distance. It's nice and cool. It's a good morning to get some yard work done, I suppose. We're actually not walking this morning because we're anticipating, you know, um, Don's involvement. Some with the robots, so I'm giving him the morning off. Again, I know it's two mornings in a row. But, uh, classic Charmander Community Day is from 2 to 5 today, so I might go walk around the South Park Loop with or without Don. We'll see. We'll see how the day unfolds. Number one priority is robots. But Marty, you've already been in one time and mostly cleaned the food bowl. See? Mostly coming? Hi. Mart. Mart. <sighs> Marty. Okay. Cray Cray, good morning. Hi, sweetie pea. Hello. Hi. Your boy will be in to see you in a few minutes. Hey, Tux. He's been hanging out with me while I did my yard walkabout and pulled a small amount of silk grass and watered things and carried off a few tree limbs that came down in the storm. I got that, that uh, sweet gum limb, which was pretty big, over by the glider and carried it off into the woods. So I did not get any exercise this morning. I <laughs> got a couple mosquito bites, even with the cooler temps, the mosquitoes are. <laughs> he says, don't stop, Mom, don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, the mosquitoes are not great, even with the better temps this morning. Oh, well. Hey, buddy. Hi. This is what they do. They get up, they eat, they hang with me for a while. And then they sleep. <laughs> it's what you'd expect cats to do. I never wanted outdoor kitties because it's like my heart running around in a dangerous place. But you got to do what you got to do for these guys that are used to it. And all I'm trying to say is at least mostly they sleep right up close to the house. And when I can look out the window and see them, then I don't have to worry. I don't know where Morris is most of the time during the day, although sometimes he's down here. Um, I don't see him right now. Um, that's just kind of his thing, but he's such a spooky boy that I don't worry about him getting too close to anybody that would care. Um, you know, and he's fast and they're just, it's not happening, but sometimes he comes home and sleeps during the day. He's been up in the cat hotel a lot up top, liking it in there and make sure to not ever make him feel threatened inside of that thing. At night, he's definitely sleeping up there and I think that's a really safe spot for him. So, but he comes back regular mid-afternoon looking for a snack, so it's all good. The guys are getting started for the day. One of the things they're gonna do is mix up some epoxy to apply to the magnets on the motors to help keep them from, what's the word, Johnny? Shattering? Shattering, yeah. We're gonna harden the motors. So I'm gonna work on this um, here for an hour, whatever I've got. I won't be able to finish it today because I'm waiting on some um, medium nougat parts for the cap up here. In particular, and some orange um, slope pieces to go around the rest of the windows. The one seller um, parts are coming today that I can get back to the big one. 
but they probably won't be here before you know 12 1 o'clock mail usually is a little quicker on Saturdays um, so I do anticipate being able to get back started on this again but the one seller had my order for three or four days and hasn't shipped yet maybe they ship on weekends um, you know this is a part-time job for most of those guys so hopefully they'll go out in the mail well Monday at the latest because it's got the stuff I need to finish this up. Might see if I got enough green and enough brown to start another base. Because I got tons of these orange slopes. I've been, you know, these other orange slopes. I've been collecting them for months. Well, that's the back side. And it's turned out cute as a button. I'm missing the mushroom. And these are all supposed to be green here. And um, there's the mushroom top. And... Um, I'm missing some uh, medium nougat slopes which are on the way and then of course all of these window frames with the open studs <clears throat> are waiting on the same piece so it'll take me about oh 10 minutes or less to fix it when the parts are here I'm really happy about how it turned out it's just like I said it's just as cute as a button this is the window that's done so you can see how nice it looks afterward. These were supposed to be brown, but I had four of the sand green, and I think that looks just fine. You know, the stem's going to be a little bit different color. I might have ordered some in brown if I or black. If I did, I, I might swap it. Look, that Ruby needs a bath. Don's doing way more important robot work. How's it going? So far, so good. Yeah, I totally agree, man. We're on a roll. Woo! Woo! Just to say, the guys are working on not one, not two, but three, three robots. robots. That's right. So epoxy the the blade on. We've heated the titanium blade up really hot and slipped it on the stator, and then we've uh, harden the magnets on the stator by putting epoxy around the magnets and then of course we've paint, put epoxy on the actual weapon to uh, hopefully keep it permanently on the stator there and um, what else did we do and we've been uh, the little uh, receivers uh, yeah. that they've come in and uh, we've soldered the connectors oh, was it a two pack I don't know I guess we uh, had one already. Had one uh, and, and one came in and Amazon's probably still bringing another or putting it in the mailbox. Right. Not all the same one though. That's right. These are four channel and the one that's coming today is a three channel. The one that's coming tomorrow is a four channel. Okay. So, um, uh. We got spares. We got spares. Spares are kind of important in combat robotics. Right. Well, yeah. And, uh, so anyway, I guess the Johnny is, uh, finishing up. We're going to test with that robot back here. We, Land we've mine got, again. Yeah. We've got to watch with the, the epoxy is going to take a while to set. Oh, so you're at it. You got to let that go. Yeah. So what are we printing right now, Johnny? Yeah. These are supports for which robot? Wally says hi. Wally says hi. The wheel, like the wheel stuff. Way cool. All right, well, I'm going to town to get cookies. Oh, maybe go for it. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, love you. Kiss, kiss. I'm headed into Guardian Angel and I stopped that Right Meow. Um, and I have a chocolate cat, cat cupcake popsicle, one of those little cake pop things. Anyway, I don't want it to melt, so I've got keep on and I'm going to leave it at 70. But I seriously only plan to be in here 15 minutes. I just, I drove through town because I'm collecting Charmander, Charmanders for classic Pokemon Go Community Day and I was going to put me right past here and it's on the right side of the road and I just don't come past Guardian Angel and not go inside and look. <laughs> the guys are going to be in the garage until I call them in to eat. So, 
I would not, uh, I would be there if they needed me. But staying out of their way is a good thing for the most part. I got an orange pumpkin stuffy. I'll show you when I get home. I finished up a conversation with one of the ladies that works there, one of my friends, and uh, you know, I did a quick pass through Thriftronics and um, the big store. I didn't go into Little Angel today. So I spent a whopping $3. <laughs> I enjoyed walking around for a minute. I'm sure I was gone longer than 15, but not more than 30. Let me brave the Harris Teeter parking lot. Come on, bud. It being clear to go here is not something to take for granted. I thought I'd pop in the dollar store and park on the uh, quieter end of the shopping center. I just couldn't deal with the Harris Teeter UPS store and now the DMC, DMV registration license plate. It went into the old UPS store. Boy, do I miss Hallmark not being here. This is where Hallmark used to be. I guess this store just didn't do enough business. DMV's probably not open today. Probably. Who knew this great a selection at the dollar store? Well, I got everything I went for and maybe a couple more things. Really? Oh no. Yeah, we had a little failure. Uh-oh. Unexpected failure. We're gonna epoxy. Yeah. <laughs> we do have another one. Right. But we're just we gonna have bad. it for a spare. This wasn't in a film test, so I just went up. Oh you 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 had a great crash and you didn't get it on film. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry it's broke because that piece takes so long to print is the problem. There's the pumpkin pillow from Guardian Angel. You know they fluff all their stuff in the dryer before they put it on the floor and then I fluffed it when I got home also. I can explain. Explain what? <laughs> How I save money but spent money at the oh. same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here are those green plates and a few gray plates. I did get the order of Legos today I was expecting. So I can work on the bigger pumpkin now. We had really yummy St. Louis ribs for dinner. We were so excited to eat them. I forgot to take a picture of them before. That's all that's left. Enough for Dawn for an afternoon snack one day. Oh, wow. This is yours. Right, mine is light. Dawn will make a... <laughs> Here's the cookies. Johnny's gonna add some of just the cookie dough. The toaster, the new toaster oven does an excellent job oh, of cooking yes, the cookies on that tray. It's quite impressive. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. It's 8.30 and uh, Don and Johnny have gone back to the garage to work on the robot some more. And uh, I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to work on my large Lego house interesting how in the light you can see variations in the green even though it's all the same green just different lots doesn't matter it real honest in person and not under the scrutiny of the light your you know other stuff going on here it's going to be fine but i i can see that in the camera pretty pretty interesting so be building up on this one and just setting this one to the side for now it's been an hour and um I'm going to stop for the night. Yeah, those holes are supposed to be out. 
it's amazing you can see stuff that's wrong right when you go to film <laughs> those holes need to point the other way no big deal anyway i got the front done i think the door or some more of these window treatments are up next i'm gonna go check on the guys and then um take my turn in the bathroom so we're all not trying to do that at the same time Taking some big chunks out of that old landmine chassis. <laughs> 